Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Taste of the Wars. My name is Hung. It's great to see you guys again. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys the three easy homemade sushi that you can make for a picnic day. We all know that sushi have a long history. Sushi is traditionally made with medium grain white rice. Though it can be prepared with brown rice or short grain rice, it is very often prepared with seafood such as squid, eel, yellowtail, salmon, tuna, or imitation crab meat. Many types of sushi are vegetarian. It is often served with pickled ginger, called wasabi, and soy sauce. Daikon radish or pickled daikon are popular garnishes for this dish. Sushi is sometimes confused with sashimi, a related dish in Japanese cuisine that consists of thinly sliced raw fish or occasionally meat. The term of sushi literally means sour tasting. So uh, we know that sushi has so many types out there. Even us, we got confused when we ordered from the restaurant. But you know what? Fun fact! In Japanese, maki means roll, which means anything sent up in the menu with maki is a sushi hand roll. So today we are going to make umaki, tamaki, and maki, three easy homemade sushi that you can make it at home. So in order to get all the ingredients for making sushi, nowadays you can get it in the wholesale supermarket instead of going all the way to the Asian supermarket. And yes, the most important ingredient for sushi is sushi rice. So here I have in my hand is short grain rice. You could use any type of rice, but short grain rice will give you a sticky texture and also it doesn't get hard after it's cooked. And make sure you cook your rice one hour or two hours beforehand after you start making sushi. So while we're waiting for our rice to cook, I'm going to show you guys few ingredients I have today for making sushi. In front of me, I chose myself a farm Atlantic salmon, a red tuna piece, I got crab meat stick, canned tuna, cucumber, carrot, nice and ripe avocado, just right, side dishes with cheese, pickled ginger, wasabi, and last but not least, our flavor seasoned nori. For the cucumber and carrot, we're gonna use it in two rows. So I'm going to cut it in two ways with cheese stick and julienne. So carrot half. So this julienne carrot here will be for our tamaki with cheese, the hand roll tuna salad sushi. And the cucumber. So for the cucumber, I don't want to get seed part in the middle because sometimes it gets like really like wet. So I'm going to remove this part. Like that. And cut it long strip. And then this piece right here, I'm just gonna cut it in half. I don't want it to be too long for our roll later. There we go. And then avocado. Go ahead, give it a round like that. Twist it. There we go. With the seed. Okay, make sure you give it a hard tap. And yes, that's it for our vegetable. So yes, after you cutting all the vegetable, make sure you always keep a nice and dry paper by your side and clean it nicely because you know, sushi is something that we eat like raw that is not cooked. 
make sure you keep it clean and next thing I'm going to cut our crab meat right down into the middle lengthwise and you do the rest for all of these pieces perfect it's ready to go next thing is our canned tuna clean up my knife clean up my cutting board so I have a canned tuna here it's gonna be for our tamaki hand roll sushi ta-da I'm going to take it out of the can I can see there's a lot of oil in here so make sure you just want to get the fish itself you don't want to get like the oily part you could use a strainer to strain all the oil out if you want to I'm going to add some mayonnaise Japanese mayonnaise just like a little bit by aisle I would say it's about to one teaspoon of the mayonnaise sauce a pinch of salt in here just a pinch and some pepper and yeah we're gonna go in to give it a good mix until it's like a thick uh, paste of tuna just like that there we go and that's it for our canned tuna so as you can see I leave the two pieces of tuna and salmon at last and I prep all the cooked ingredient and vegetable first so for tuna Make sure you have a clean knife and cutting board, nice and dry. Just go down to the fish and cut it into thinly strip. And after you finish cutting it, you can put it away and put it in the fridge if you don't do the roll right away. And next thing is our salmon. Sometimes you would find a piece of fillet salmon in the supermarket which is already um, clean nicely but unfortunately here what I have they still have a skin on so I'm gonna take the skin off first so the easy way to take off the skin of the salmon is lay it in front of you like that make sure you dry it nicely using a chef knife tip of the knife and then we're just gonna go slowly down to the skin cut it a little bit pieces like that and then just pinch it on the skin and go ahead Some, it's easier when you have a whole salmon and then you de-skin de it but in this case it's okay we still can do it put it back into the plate itself and only cut it when you're ready to eat some sashimi next step i'm sure our rice is cooked and i'm going to make the mixtures which is contain a rice vinegar sugar and salt so i have five tablespoons of rice vinegar about a half teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar so i'm going to mix it together just like that salt in here Give it a good mix. So one hour mixture is already like all combined, dissolved together. I'm going to bring our rice and we're gonna pour it over and give it a good mix. So the rice temperatures when you are making the roll, it shouldn't be like really hot or really cold. It should always be like just a little bit warm like room temperatures but warmer a little bit okay so in order to keep my rice warm I'm just gonna use a nice and clean towel and put it on top like that instead of leave it open and yes we're gonna get rolling so now everything is ready to roll I having myself here a sushi mat and I'm going to wrap with saran wrap on top just like that so it not get sticky and hygiene's all wake up first just like that over nice and neat so the seaweed are we using today is a korean brand i'm sure it's called natural seaweed 
you can find like or you can use anything that you could find in the supermarket which is not like mandatory have to be this brand and the first thing I'm going to make is uramaki so uramaki is type of the sushi roll that the seaweed is actually inside and the rice is outside I'm going to use a scissor to cut this in half actually good amount of rice on top spreading it out and then you will fold it over just like that and press it down a little bit so I'm going to put for the uramaki here is the crab meat cut in half our avocado and we're just gonna roll it over like this nice and tight so don't scare that it's gonna break so just keep rolling it over using this mat to kind of like pull out on the side and roll it nice and tight pull it pull it like that there we go a little bit more so we are done with our two row which is uramaki the filling is crab meat stick and avocado and later on we're gonna dusting our season noris on top of it so the next row i'm going to make is our maki with tuna so this row is a little bit different the maki row is the nori is outside and the rice is inside it's different from the very first one and i'm using the whole nori um, wrap and there we go cucumber for this one tuna and once again we're gonna roll it over keep rolling So yes, the last sushi roll that I'm going to make is tamaki. Tamaki is basically a hand roll type of cone sushi that you can see is what inside. And I'm going to make one the filling with the salmon and the other filling with canned tuna. The nori seed, I'm going to cut it. I'm already cut it in two pieces already. And we're gonna just add our rice right in the middle like that. Kind of like diagonal a little bit. Just like this. And then go ahead with your salmon right on top. We're gonna cut the salmon into cubes, like small little cubes like this. Pick it up with your hand and just roll it over. Just like that with the Thai of sushi. Leave it on the side. We can top it up with some green onion if you want to. And the next one, we're gonna add some julienne carrot. Give it some color. Cucumber if you want to. And our canned tuna right in the middle. Ta-da! And you can see I got all my sushis get ready to eat after all the hard working, you know. So I got myself here the uramaki inside now sushi roll. The maki with tuna and cucumber. And the tamaki hand roll sushi cone. And last but not least, I got some leftover salmon, so I could cut myself some sashimis on the sides.
and I hope this video today will give you guys some ideas of making your picnic days better or maybe a date night with your partner. And I hope you guys like these videos. Make sure you click on the bell, like this video, and subscribe us on our channels. I will see you guys in the next videos. Bye guys!